Of course. Yes. I'll hold your coffee. A so very you unique watch. So you have the to tubes, explain what that old is. vacuum tubes running on 140 volts inside of there. They might have been made 40 years ago. When I turn my wrist, it senses turning the wrist and displays the hours followed by the minutes, just the way you would speak time. 9.49. In that order. It works the way my head works. Oh my gosh. So this is my favorite watch because it's peaceful to my getting the time. Not because it's a weird gadget. You know, I would wear it for one week. I would wear it for one week. For one week, I would wear it as a weird gadget. I intended to. And I intended to go back to my nice, beautiful, thin watch with hands and a dial. I have beautiful watches. And I put this on. And I said, I like it. tells me big digits, just the order I like. Something is more peaceful on my mind when I read this watch. And that's why I wear it. Yeah. Not because it's odd. When you wear it, you don't notice. You don't even know you're wearing it. So you forget all about it. You don't see. There's a big watch on my hand. Of course, I've got my iPod on the other wrist. That's for music on airplanes. It's the iPod Nano. That's the iPod Nano with a little watch band. Yeah. Is that just a normal sort of option? Or is no, that's a normal Nano. No, that's an iPod Nano and it clips onto things like the mirrors. Sure. Well, then you go to the Apple Store and you can buy a variety of watch bands that it slides into. Did you jailbreak it to uh, no, but in the end, I love, I love swirling my finger to go through the menus instead of pushing buttons. We just swish back and forth. Um, let, me, let me turn it on and sort of demonstrate that. It's only got two arms, though. Well, you have to check his angle. There's the one. Is that LA time or something? Yeah. And, and so, but I use it mainly because I never had a place on airplanes. I'm always trying to figure out where to put my iPod, and now it's on me. This is the best gadget I've ever had in my life.